depression is complex, especially to a teenager. Uh, there are many different causes, types, moving parts, and the most accurate way to determine your type of depression and how to deal with it is to go to a doctor. However, some parts of depression can be dealt with on your own. Now, common types of depression, if any such thing existed, might come from emotional trauma or a mental illness or something that could put you in a depressed mood. However, a I feel as if a common form of depression amongst teenagers, especially teenagers in high school or in middle school, would be quote-unquote physical depression, is what I'm going to be calling it. And essentially, it's where teenagers focus too much on incoming responsibilities rather than taking care of the ultimate responsibility, which is their body. Your body doesn't like it when it's not being taken care of, and it will contribute to emotional trauma if it's not dealt, if it's not taken care of properly. So here are three physical reasons to why you may be experiencing depression or are feeling in a depressed move or are just feeling disheartened for some reason. Reason number one, getting enough sleep. Sleep is the most, almost one of the most important aspects of a, of a human schedule. It's it gives you energy, it helps you grow, and your body does need it to function properly, especially in a school environment. Doing assignments and meeting friends and going to an eight-hour school day requires you to have at least eight to nine hours of sleep each night. So let's say, for example, you were, b before you started, before your sleeping schedule got messed up, you were getting good eight to eight and a half hours of sleep before you got to go to school in the morning. And one night you st decided to stay up an extra hour to complete a school assignment. This assignment takes an hour and you think, okay, I'm just going to go to sleep now and I'll, I'll just lose an hour of sleep tonight. Unfortunately, human body is not that simple. When you stay up an extra hour of sleep past your scheduled quote-unquote bedtime, your brain crosses a threshold of tiredness. It's not that you're going to be more sleepy, you're actually going to be more awake after that hour happens because your body thinks it's under stress. Belief is that your body thinks it's under attack from something and it causes you to stay awake not for another hour, but for another two, three, or four hours, and that's how long it would take your body to calm down and then go to sleep again. So say if you, you went to bed at 10 before and you were going to go to bed at 11, you actually might not fall asleep until midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., and then you need to wake up early in the morning tomorrow, and then this is a new schedule that is going to infect your life at school and is going to cause your body to not really appreciate a lack of sleep and a lack of energy. And um, having an assignment schedule that involves you doing work after your, your body's scheduled bedtime can cause this cycle to repeat and you eventually end up feeling it in a depressed mood. A way to fix this is to have a scheduled bedtime that you need to sleep at no matter what, even if it means you need to turn an assignment late, if that means you need to sacrifice time with friends to do work that you need to do beforehand in order to get to sleep on time because that is going to help improve your mood. That's number one. Number two is your diet. Now, diet is, um, again, one, one of the most important aspects of a human body in order to get energy. If your body is not getting enough energy from food, it is going to tell you about it. Food is, your, is the most rewarding um, incoming gift you can give your body and your body rewards you for it by sending happy chemicals to your brain when it gets food after not having it for a long time. So, but we're not necessarily going to be talking about a lack of food while that is very important to get enough food. It's about the quality of the food you're getting. Often students either don't know how to cook or they don't have time because of school hours and they either end up eating nothing or they eat food that is of less quality and is not giving them the, nutri the nutritional content that they need in order to perform in school or in life properly. So my suggestion is to either learn how to cook or um, contribute more of your time to um, supplying your body with not just more food, but also food that is of higher nutritional content, such as getting enough protein, vegetables, and carbohydrates into your system each day so that you can be energized for school. Now, other reasons for not supplying your body with enough food might involve like a, a, an anxiousness about body weight, which deserves its own video entirely. But um, in order for your body to 
feel better and to not be in a depressed mood and to be energized for school, the body not only needs to have enough food, but that food needs to be of higher quality. In other words, eating a bunch of junk food is not necessarily going to help your body stay nutritionalized throughout the school day. And that is reason number two. Reason number three is not smiling enough. Now, this is definitely the cheesiest out of the three, but it can really be the frosting on the cake, on, on the cake once you got the other two figured out. The Dalai Lama says, I am not smiling because I am happy. I am happy because I am smiling. And this is scientifically proven that when a human body smiles, it sends happy chemicals to the brain, which you could say smiling is not just a human concept. It's been in our system for a very long time. So if you're ever feeling down the middle of the day and you feel like you've gotten enough sleep, you're eating enough, you just sometimes have to force yourself to smile. And this will make you feel better. I guarantee you, I use it myself. So those are three physical reasons why you may be in a depressed mood or are feeling depression in high school or as a teenager. Obviously, depression is very complex, like, like we said at the beginning, and should be dealt with in a more serious a manner, such as visiting a doctor or a therapist to really find out why you're feeling this way. But sometimes it can be as simple as one, two, three, fixing your health schedule and supplying your body with the nutrition and sleep it needs to perform in a school environment. Another video will be coming out soon about three non-standard reasons you may be experiencing depression, which will combine with this one. But if you want to see that, subscribe for more. Like this video. Thank you for watching. <laughs>